Here we go. I've written down the four sine and cosine expansions. And we used the first one because I constructed this question deliberately to fit the first one. Here's how I know. Underneath where you've written the first one, do you see why what you've got over here matches what you have over here, right? I'm actually going to write the example underneath. For example, I had, what did I have? Root 3 on 2 sine x plus 3 on 2 cos x, okay? So I looked at the question and I saw, okay, well, this thing here, it must have come from some expansion, okay? Can anyone tell me why? I could have, but it would have been silly to choose this as my expansion to give me this. Have a look. What's missing? Or what does it have that I don't want to have in here? There's a minus sign in the middle, right? When you expand this, you get a minus sign there. And the question doesn't have a minus sign there. Now, if you wanted, you could choose this and then just have a double negative. But why would you do that, right? You're just making life hard for yourself. Not only do you get a double negative, but you'll find that these angles that you get over here, they end up getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's just needless. Smaller angles are nicer and easier to work with. Okay. So if I, for example, gave you this, I said, okay, y equals sine x minus 2 cos x. When you have a look at this, you say, all right, well, which one is first? It's sine first. And what's the sign in between the two things, the operation? It's minus. So therefore, that would fit here. If I saw sine x minus 2 cos x, my brain would say, all right, try this one. You can try this one, but it's just going to be negatives where they don't belong. It's confusing. If you've got a negative, you might as well use it. Okay. If sine x is the first function, you use this guy. Uh, or this pair of guys, rather. If cos x, on the other hand, is what comes first, okay, and I know I can rewrite this if I wanted to, but if cos x was what came first, then I'm going to use one of these, okay? Again, if I said to you, y equals root 2 cos x plus, uh, let's go root 3 sine x. By the way, the reason why you see so many root 2s and root 3s flying around is because the exact values for your trig functions they have root threes and root threes and root twos inside them, right? So that's why they come up quite frequently. If you saw that, cosine is first. So do you see these guys have cosine first? These guys have sine first? So I'm going to use one of these. The sine in the middle is a plus. So which of these looks like it'll be more useful? This one here, minus, gives me a plus in the middle, because cosine does that weird swapping thing. So if I saw that question, e.g., root two cos x minus, no, plus, plus, root 3 sine x, this is the form that I would choose, right? So look at what is first, look at what's first, and then pay attention to the sign. Can you give me an example of something that would fit this? You can make something up, anything you like, yeah? Root 2 cos x minus root 3 sine x. That was really, really <laughs> original. I'm just going to, just for the sake of it, I'm just going to spite you and change it to that. Um, now, you can see the important things are, which function comes first? Which function comes first? The cos or the sine, right? And then secondly, what's the sine in the middle? Therefore, which one does it lead you to? Now, the student among you will notice, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Something like this, right? This guy here. Sine x is written first at the moment. But there's no reason I can't write it the other way. Can't I? Can't I write this as uh, 3 on 2 cos x plus 3 on 2 sin x? I can, <coughs> which means uh, if, if I had reordered it, which one of these would I use? I'd use the fourth one, wouldn't I? Root 3 on 2, uh, sorry, no, just regular 3 on 2 cos x plus root 3 on 2 sine x. Okay. Now, here's what's interesting. This is clearly the same function. This function and this function. It hasn't changed, but I can rewrite it using a different auxiliary angle form. I can rewrite it as this or as this. Right. So I'm actually going to leave it as an exercise to you. If we started this all from scratch, but instead of writing r sine x plus alpha, 
you saw, oh wait, there's a cos at the front. Instead of r sine whatever, I'm going to choose r cos. And what's going to be here in the middle? x minus alpha. <coughs> Bless you. I'm going to let you have a go and see what happens at the other end and if it's what you expect. 